Hello friends, this video on NEAT Biotechnology is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. What are bio patents? So if you look at the name, it has bio plus patent. So bio means something related to living organism or life and patents. So patents are normally given to any invention to prevent others from commercially using that invention. So it is like a, a kind of a right to protect an invention from getting uh, commercialized uh, by a third party so that that's what we call as a patent now bio patents are the patents which are granted for biological entities and their products now how does uh, the concept of bio patent help so it prevents others from commercially using these invention like like the invention of these biological entities or the biological products now bio patents are awarded for a lot of things for example they they are awarded for uh, strains of microorganisms so whenever a new strain of a particular microorganism is invented so it is patented so now the moment it is patented that means nobody else like a third party now doesn't have any right to commercially use that patent similarly now once it has already been patented now somebody else again cannot come and get the same strain of microorganism patented on uh, his name or on the name of the company so any invention will be patented only if that is an invention like that is uh, that has come up for the first time nobody else has reported that before so when a new thing comes up like a new strain of microorganism comes up so that is bio patented similarly genetically modified strains of plants and animals so we have already seen that genetically modified organisms uh, can be extremely useful in fact if you look at the medicine industry you see that uh, a lot of uh, new medicines have come up or a lot of new things which have been produced by uh, genetic engineering they are extremely useful in making medicines dna sequences various products products in the sense the biological products products which are uh, obtained from different living organisms uh, and the application of these products like how do we make use of a biological product to do something maybe uh, to cure a disease so you make a product first and that product how do you use that product to cure a disease so all of all these kind of things can are easily bio patented the proteins encoded by the dna sequence now whatever uh, i am telling right now all of these uh, these are the various categories which are capable of being bio patented now for patenting the first important criteria is that it should be a new thing it should be like an invention secondly uh, one, something once patented cannot be patented again Th that means that it is not new it already existed right so that's that's how that's what is bio patent now it is not necessary that every time a patent is submitted it will always get approved now many a times it in the past it has been observed that many bio patents have even got cancelled so let me give you an example of a cancelled bio patent so there was a patent which was sent for approval that is the use of turmeric in wound healing so when you get a wound like maybe you are playing or something you get an injury so we often make use of turmeric why because turmeric actually helps in uh, fast healing of that wound so this was sent for approval as a bio patent so this was sent in the year of 1995 so this was a 1995 patent but this patent got cancelled in 1998 so why did it get cancelled so that's because like whenever a patent is sent for approval a lot of research is done just to check if the patent is true like the information which uh, which is there in the patent if that is true or not secondly it is also uh, 
checked if that was not reported before or if that didn't happen before it is a new thing which is there in that bio patent so in this case it got cancelled because the use of turmeric in wound healing was known since generations in india so it was a very old uh, known fact so therefore there was nothing new in this bio patent and therefore it was not patented so it this is an example of a cancelled bio patent another such example is the ayahuasca patent so what is this now in 1986 so even long before 1995 so in 1986 it was claimed that a new and unique variety of a plant so that i'll just write the name of the plant otherwise it's very difficult it's banisteriopsis capi so this is the biological name of the plant so it, it was claimed that a very much new distinct and unique variety of this plant was found but then later research showed that the claimed plant was neither new nor was it distinct so it, it all it was already existing from long back so that means it wasn't new so this was uh, this patent was named ayahuasca because that that is what that new and unique variety was called but which was later found out to be not new and therefore the patent got cancelled so for bio patent two crucial things first it should be a new thing it should not be an existing one secondly once patented uh, it is not allowed to be used by others for any kind of commercial purpose now what is the significance of bio patents so why do we have this concept of bio patents for a couple of reasons like it acts as an incentive for genetic engineering so if you look at this entire field of genetic engineering there are so many scientists busy in genetically engineer to genetically engineer uh, new crop varieties to improve the crop yield or to even genetically modify animals so that we get uh, a better variety of the next generation so so much things are are going on from uh, the engineering perspective so it the bio patents acts as an incentive it's like uh, a motivation for them because you create something or you invent something uh, it, it gets bio patented in your name so nobody else can uh, you know again claim any kind of right on that so you get a total ownership of that particular invention so it is like an incentive for uh, genetic engineering and the motivation it also increases economic growth so that's also true secondly not much research in areas dominated by patents now let's say that in a particular field if already multiple number of patents exist that actually means that good amount of research has already been done in that field so uh, in with this information the people who are doing research they can find out new areas where they should do research like let's say that there are so many scientists all over the world right and everybody is doing some or the other research now if everybody starts to res do research only on microorganisms then what would happen a time would come when multiple people are doing research on the same subject which is which doesn't make any sense right and at the same time there would be a lot of areas which will uh, remain unexplored because nobody is doing any kind of research in those areas so therefore in that sense also patents help so people do not waste time doing research in the same field for which multiple patents already exist so you know uniformly research can be done on different different fields now the moment we talk about bio patents it becomes important to, to also talk about bio piracy so what is bio piracy so it is exploitation of patents of other nations without appropriate permission so as i said that the this entire concept of bio patent is to prevent others from commercially using a particular invention but when that happens like let's say that one particular country uh, has has filed a bio patent so it, it's a patent for that particular country some other country is making use of that bio patent without taking proper permission from the country so what is that so it is like exploitation of bio patents and that is what is called bio piracy so let us consider an example now india has always been expert 
in natural medicines ayurveda spices and agriculture so these are some of the you know uh, strengths of india as a country but the unfortunate part is through patenting without permission like maybe a lot of things like just now i was talking about a cancelled patent where turmeric is found to be very useful in wound healing which was known to india since generations so like that there were a lot of other things in the field of natural medicines and spices and agriculture which was already known to india but through patenting without proper permission from india many foreign companies had colored some 20 25 plants for their uses like they got to know that okay turmeric is a useful thing similarly they got to know that okay neem has many medicinal properties or uh, even the black pepper that that has many useful properties so once they get to know about the benefits of certain plants what they did was they got them patented on their names like those foreign companies they got them patented on their name without taking proper permission from india where it was already existing so what is this entire thing that had that has happened so this is nothing but biopiracy so biopiracy is not a desirable thing to happen but it has happened and it has happened with india itself that uh, many foreign companies had colored some 20 to 25 plants for their uses some of these plants are turmeric neem pomegranate basmati rice black pepper thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you